Hey guys, do you love bread as much as I do? There's always bread left over in my home and though I hate throwing food away, so I've been experimenting new recipes from here and there using bread. So today you will get to see six bread recipes which are not just sandwiches or bread pakoras but much more than that. And without wasting any time, let's get straight into my recipes. Bruschetta is a quick and easy appetizer. A mixture of fresh tomatoes, basil, cheese, vinegar and spice on top of grilled slice of bread. Bruschetta is to be served cold while the bread that you're putting it on should be served toasty warm. This dish can be great starter for a soup or a heartier option. Now to make this, first take tomatoes and finely chop them. Drain any excess juice and transfer tomatoes to a medium bowl. Stack basil leaf and roll them into a tube. Now using a sharp knife, thinly slice the basil into ribbons and transfer to the bowl along with the tomatoes. In a bowl, toss together the tomatoes, basil and finely chopped garlic. Mix in a tablespoon of vinegar and about 4 to 5 tablespoons of olive oil, salt as per your taste and pepper. Give it a good mix and keep it aside. Then slice the bread diagonally and grill it. Once browned, turn and repeat. Then remove from the heat and top it with bruschetta and if you like add some cheese on top of it. I love this appetizer. It's crunchy and flavorful. You can make them for breakfast or have it just as a snack. The best breakfast treat is an easy French toast. It can make any morning instantly special. And I think it's a great recipe for our lazy weekends. Now coming to the recipe, in a shallow dish, take about two eggs, half cup of milk, one tablespoon of honey, orange zest, vanilla essence, half tablespoon of cinnamon and salt and whisk everything well. Then melt a tablespoon of butter onto a pan. Then add the slice of bread to the dish and soak in the egg mixture as possible for about half a minute. And turn the bread side and soak the other side too. Then transfer the soaked bread slice to the hot pan and cook for about a minute per side or until you see like a golden brown on both the sides. Then serve French toast with powdered sugar, maple syrup and fresh fruits of your choice. The honey and orange zest gives it wonderful flavor and it's like a perfect for a nice brunch. Have you 
ever tried Conflict Crush French Toast? This toast will allow you to enjoy two breakfast menu, cereal and French toast in one easy breakfast recipe. To make this, take cornflakes in a plate, crush them with your hand and set aside. Then crack open egg in a bowl, add salt as per taste and about 1 fourth to half tablespoon of pepper. Whip it really well. Then dip bread slice into that and coat it with cornflakes on both the sides. And fry it in some butter or ghee till it is golden brown on both the sides. Be sure you don't have the heat too high or else the cornflakes burn can get burned easily. So once we were invited to a German colleague's house for dinner and there she served this warm creamy pumpkin soup with bread and it tasted heavenly and I kept trying to make something close to that and now I have this recipe for you guys which you guys are going to love it. This soup is super simple and low effort to make it. First of all, roughly chop about 500 grams of pumpkin and keep aside. Then keep about 250 ml of vegetable stock ready. Next in a pan, add a butter, toss finely chopped one onion and one chopped carrot for about 2 to 3 minutes. Then add chopped pumpkin. While that's getting cooked, add salt as per your taste and 1 tablespoon of cumin powder, chopped ginger, bay leaf, pepper powder, nutmeg powder and 2 cups of vegetable broth. Cook it till it's completely soft. Then using a smasher, smash it and blend it into a smooth paste after it cools down. Then heat the soup in a low flame and add 1 cup of coconut milk and adjust the spices and switch off the flame. Now serve in a bowl, add some sunflower seeds and roasted bread. This simple pumpkin soup with coconut milk is loaded with nutrition benefits, delicious and perfect to have in winters. I have been loving soup this winter along with some bread. So the next recipe I'm going to share with you guys is broccoli onion bread soup. So to make this, heat butter over medium heat, 
sort one finely chopped onion and garlic until tender for about 6 to 8 minutes. Meanwhile, cut the broccoli florets and cut them into medium pieces, clean them and transfer it to a pan and let it cook. Then add 1 4 tablespoon of nutmeg powder, pepper powder, bay leaves and chicken stock and let it cook for 4 to 5 minutes. Once it's nicely cooked, remove the bay leaf. Lastly, add half cup of cheese and mix everything well and switch off the flame. Here, I haven't used any salt to the soup because there's already salt in the cheese I'm using. Serve the soup with chopped bread pieces. If you have never had panzanella salad, it is basically all of the good things you want in a salad. Simple ingredients, a tasty dressing and crispy bread because bread in a salad is a must have first chop tomatoes and onions then transfer it to a large colander over the same mixing bowl place the tomatoes in the colander and sprinkle some salt toss briefly with your hand and set aside for a few minutes to allow the tomatoes to release their juices into the mixing bowl Then chop a day old bread and heat it on a pan. Drizzle some olive oil and a pinch of salt. You need a nice crusty bread to soak up all the tomato juices and dressing. So when you're tossing your bread, be sure to get your bread super dry. To make the salad more flavorful, I am making squid fries. So in a bowl, crack an egg and mix it. Next, in a plate, I'm going to take about 3 tablespoons of cornstarch, salt, chili powder and garam masala. First, I'm going to dip the squid into the egg mixture and then coat the dry mixture and keep it aside. Then I'm going to deep fry for about 2 minutes, not more than that because if I fry it more than 2 minutes, it is going to be a little more chewy. Now when ready, move the colander with tomatoes and use the mixing bowl with tomato juice to make the dressing. Add about 2 tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, add 6 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, finely chopped garlic cloves, dry thyme and a large pinch of black pepper. Then whisk everything and combine the chopped tomatoes, squid fry and bread. Give the salad a gentle toss and transfer to a serving platter. 
combo of fresh tomatoes with tossed bread and a delicious dressing make this one of my favorite salads. Do try this recipe and let me know if you try it. Hope you guys saw some interesting bread recipes. If you try them, don't forget to let me know how it turned out. I will see you guys very very soon with a better content. Till then take care, stay safe and get vaccinated.